I try to do this video with my animals and they just don't want to be involved. Um, sometimes I wonder why I, I do these videos and then I get a response like I did on email from someone. It's just a sharing between people who love their animals as much as we do. So I'm just going to read you his email. I'm sure he won't mind. Uh, it's, it's really, really touched me. Dear Jay Zathy, I want to thank you for posting these wonderful videos of your animals. They actually saved my cat's life last summer. He was diagnosed with renal failure in June and was not eating or defecating. The vet wanted to euthanize him the next morning because there was not much we could do for him. I went to bed thinking it would be the last day I would ever sleep with him in the house. I started reading about cats and came across the Maine Coon. I was impressed by their size and searched for the videos on YouTube. One of the videos came up, one of your videos came up, and I loved it. I watched the other ones in the following hours and came across the videos of when Micmac was not feeling so well. I saw how much you cared for him and how much you never gave up on him. I realized I should have done the same thing with my cat because he was in a moment of desperate need of love. The next morning, my mother called another vet. He was much more optimistic than the other one. He asked for the blood test, but my mother did not have them. She called the first vet and asked for them. Fortunately, the vet there sent the wrong tests, which showed he was fine. The current vet did not understand what was wrong with him, so he did not he did not want to put my cat to sleep. Later we realized that there were te that they were tests from the last year. We sent him the new ones later that day, but if it wasn't for this mistake, my cat would be long gone. The vet decided to try a new treatment he used. It is a medicine that has to be given twice a day. We went home and I spent every minute of the day with my cat. I set up this little place outside his bed, litter box, water and food. To convince him to drink, I would change the water every hour because he preferred cold, fresh water. I brushed him and cleaned him. He was all dirty from his urine and he was too weak to move away from it. It worked. He drank a lot of water and used his litter box a lot. He seemed a lot better than the night before, but he was still very weak. The next day I was surprised to see my cat jumping up on my bed to wake me like he was used to. He was purring and he wanted to eat. We were all very happy to see that, including the vet. We continued to give him the medicine and in a week he was walking normally and not drinking or urinating as much. He lived on to see his 10th birthday, Christmas and the New Year. He would sleep on my lap at night to watch TV and would wake me up every day. He would sleep on my homework and purr constantly. At the end of March, he became constipated for an unknown cause and had to go to the vet. We do not know if it was because of the kidneys or lack of water. When he came back, he could not eat. The vet said that there was no point in delaying his departure, as his illness was still there and would, not, would never go away. From now on, it would only go from bad to worse. He still purred, but he had lost half of his weight since July. We decided it would be better for him to sleep. The vet came this Saturday. April 7th to our house. And he passed away at me while looking on my bed. We miss him a lot. It is very hard to wake up have no one waiting at the door for you or to share a sofa with him. There is this empty feeling inside me every time I look somewhere he used to sleep. I keep some of his fur and his ashes are being returned this week. I just wanted to let you know how your videos helped my cat. He was a black and white Persian called Alf. I will never forget how much you did for Micmac, Dar, and Asa when they needed you most. You helped me not give up on him, and I think this made a big difference in his recovery. Thank you. My best wishes for you, Gerd, Bumby, Ogi, and if she is still there, Asia, <laughs> if she is still there, and another big hug for Micmac, Dar, and Asa Lee. I miss them as well. Lucas. Thank you, Lucas. Here is Lucas's kitty. 